To take the derivative of this function, we start by rewriting the function so that we don't have the square root written, but rather the exponent 1 half written. So we have this as the log base 2 of 3 to the x minus 5, and that whole logarithm is raised to the 1 half power. And so while we do have some logarithm rules that allow us to bring the exponent down, this is not one of them because it's the entire logarithm raised to the one-half power, not the, um, the input of the logarithm raised to the one-half power. And so the exponent's in a different place, and so we don't have anything algebraically we can do to clean this up. So at this point, we're ready to take the derivative. So the derivative here is going to require really a couple of chain rules. But because we have an ugly function, that logarithm raised to the 1 half power, but then inside the logarithm, it's not just x, but yet another ugly function. So we have a nested chain rule problem here. So we'll take it one step at a time. The outermost function is the square root, so the power 1 half. So when we're taking that outermost derivative, we bring down the power 1 half, and then we take the exact same base that we have, the log base 2 of 3 to the x minus 5. And then the new power on that base is 1 less than the old power. So we have the 1 half power minus 1. And I'm going to write that minus 1 as minus 2 halves. So to continue on here with the derivative, since the base was not just x but rather an ugly function of x, we would have to take the derivative of the inside there. So we'd be taking the derivative of log base 2 of 3 to the x minus 5. Okay, so let's keep going here with the derivative. We've got uh, the derivative is the 1 half out front times log base 2 of 3 to the x minus 5, and that is now raised to the negative 1 half. And then this derivative here at the end, to finish this off, uh, we have the derivative of a logarithm of base 2. And so the form that that derivative takes is fractional. It has the um, factor on the bottom as the natural log of the base of the logarithm. So the base of the logarithm is 2, so we've got the factor uh, natural log of 2 that lands in the bottom. Well, the other thing that lands in the bottom for a log base um, b problem is just the argument of the logarithm. So the argument of the logarithm is the 3 to the x minus 5. Okay, So that's what lands in the base, and then typically on the top we would just have 1. However, this is a chain rule problem. This uh, argument of the logarithm was not just x, but rather an ugly function of x. And so, um, really, we still have yet another chain rule that we have to multiply by the derivative of that argument. So, d dx of 3 to the x minus 5. And finally, then, we have finished the, the nested chain if we'll just take that final derivative. So, let's do that. We've got f prime of x equals 1 half. And then we've got the factor log, of, log base 2 of 3 to the x minus 5. And that whole thing is raised to the negative one-half power. And then we've got uh, this factor here where we have the natural log of 2 on the bottom and the 3 to the x minus 5 on the bottom all over 1. And then we've got to pull out the uh, derivative here of 3 to the x minus 5. So the derivative of 3 to the x is the derivative of an exponential base b. And so that form is uh, the natural log of the base, again, so it would be the natural log of 3 in this case, times itself 3 to the x. Now we would, in general, be then continuing on with the um, subtraction rule by taking um, subtracting the derivative of the constant 5, but that would just be subtracting 0. And so in the end, that ends up being our final answer. It's not written super nicely, but we can uh, leave it as that for our final answer.